Hey guys, welcome to a sister's cooking, okay? On today, guys, I'm going to have some stuffed vegetable shells, okay? I bought myself some uh, jumbo shells, the Barilla jumbo shells, and I'm going to take these and drop them over in my water that's already boiling, and I'm going to let them cook, and then I'm going to saute me some spinach, some Brussels sprouts, some asparagus, I'm gonna, uh, I have some asparagus cut up. I'm gonna put all that together and stuff them. And I'm gonna use myself some vegan cheese. So let's put these over in there. So we got that in there. We're gonna let that cook. And then I'm gonna saute me some um, I'm gonna saute some spinach, some kale, some Brussels sprouts, some asparagus, some carrots, red, orange, and yellow peppers. Okay. Ready getting hot. I'm gonna add this because the rest of my ingredients is down inside of my strainer, and I wanted you all to see them. So I also have in here some kale, some cabbage, some red cabbage chopped up. That's in here. The carrots, red peppers, yellow and orange, red pepper, yellow and green, I mean the onions. So that's going to go inside my stuffed shells. I'm going to make a white sauce, a white garlic butter vegan sauce to go on top of. What I did yesterday was I took me some vegan butter, this miyoki butter. I took this butter and I beat it up really good and I put me some um, different herbs and some parsley and, uh, and um, my cousins in it. So it's froze now because I put it back in the freezer. But I'm let, that's going to be part of my sauce. I also have the rest of my glue I'm going to use and then I have my shredded mozzarella cheese. I'm going to add me a little um, almond milk to it and I'm gonna add me a little um a, a little um just a little flour or corn sauce just to thicken and make like a gravy you know like a pasta sauce to go on top of I also have um my um garlic my minced garlic that I'm gonna use so while this is simmering down right here I'm gonna take my noodles out because they're ready and you know they gotta cook some more in the oven so you don't want to cook the noodles the shells too long because they do have to cook some more in the oven. Nice size, guys. This is a nice size noodle to stuff. You see that? This is what I'm going to stuff. I have my. You come on back, guys, sweetheart. Come on. And I have. What I'm going to do now is. I'm going to. You want to see what the shells look like? Here you go. Right. So you know I don't do no, I waste nothing. We were gonna have spaghetti. My husband changed his mind. He's like, we're gonna do the shells. <laughs> so I'm gonna mix my Brussels sprouts in there with it. My, the Brussels sprouts, because they take a little longer to cook. And then I'm gonna reduce the heat and turn it down and let them marinate. Not marinate, but let them simmer. So I'm gonna season, I'm gonna put my bell peppers and my carrots over in here too. Now that they are cooked down, I could just add everything in there. I added the original stone meal. I also added, I'm finna add my garlic and herb stone meal. I'm also add just a little paprika, just a little bit. I'm gonna add my salt free tony charters. I'm gonna add me some garlic. I'm gonna add me some onion powder. And I'm gonna put the rest of my um, uh, but I'm not gonna use this. I'll tell you that for something else. But I'm gonna put me some mist, some iced garlic in there. There you go. Now I need to take that and flip it around. It smells good too, guys. Flip it around, flip it around. This is my special herb. That's a special herb. That's a special herb. Look at that. Look at that. You look at that Brussels sprouts. 
Look at that. You see your carrots, your spinach, your kale, your Brussels sprouts, your peppers, your onions. Look at this. Yeah. I'm gonna, right now what I'm finna do is I'm finna put my vegan butter that I mixed my herbs up in yesterday. So I got parsley in here. I got uh, fresh parsley. I have a, um, my cousins mixed in here as well, the original blend and the garlic blend. So I'm gonna drop this in there and let that, uh, let that melt down. Yes, this is my Miyoki's, the Miyoki's butter. See that guys? This is a half one that I already used. It's been opened already. But I took a whole one and I bit. Then I added my herbs in and whipped it up. And that's what I have simmering over there. And this right here, this is how it came, guys. It came like a cream cheese, but it's Miyoki's creamy butter. See that? It's a butter. See, guys? Yes, and it's, it's really good. It's a creamy butter. So that's what I use. And I leave like maybe another little piece. And I'm going to turn that down. Now what I'm also going to do is, I'm going to dice me some onions up to put in there. I want some onions and some garlic in it. You know, onions and garlic make everything taste good. I know it seems like I cook with the same ingredients. I do. A lot of times I do. Because I feel like if it's not broke, don't fix it. So, I cook with a lot of the same ingredients. Mainly my um, peppers and my onions and my garlic. That's something, that's like to go to. That's my to go to. That's what I cook with all the time. So that's going to go over in my sauce. And then I'm going to add me like a tablespoon of garlic over in. So now I'm going to put me, yes, that's that butter. Yes, and I'm going to turn that down. I'm going to put me a little of this garlic in And that's how I'm making that white sauce, that garlic butter sauce. And you know what I said before, I was going to add some almond milk. I'm not going to add no almond milk. I'm going to let that garlic with all those herbs simmer down. And once they, I'm going to add the rest of my glee in there. Because I don't want to waste nothing. No flour to it so it can get thicker. And I feel I want to show it to you because... The consistency of this butter, this vegan butter, is just like a regular butter. I want to show it to you guys why you want to see it. I want you. Uh-huh. Yeah. So now, what I'm going to do is put it back over here. I want to add a little seasoning to that. Just my, I'm just adding my cousins to this and my salt free Tony Charles. No, and garlic, that's it. Nothing else will go in there. No onion powder. The cornstarch do the same thing that the flour will do. I'm just going to add a little bit to it. As if I was making a gravy, but I'm making a white sauce. Okay? I'm making a white sauce, and I want it creamy. So that's why I added a little flour in there. I'm going to get one of my... I need to get my girlfriend... So I can whip it. Water to it. Cause it's already getting thick like a gravy. I'm adding some water to it. And I say that's about a cup of water, guys. You don't need no more, you don't need no more, no less. Let it continue to cook. I'm going to turn that on low and let that cook while I bring this skillet over here and you and I start to stuff these here shells. And I got to add a little of my cheese in there. Now I'm going to add a little cheese in the sauce and I'm going to add a little cheese on top as a garnish. Now that's a mozzarella cheese and it do um, melt, it melt pretty good. Here are my noodles. I want to line them up. Okay, so I'm gonna add this in there. See them guys? Stuffed noodles. Stuffed vegetable noodles. It don't always. 
I don't never close the refrigerator do I guys. There you have it. Okay, guys. So I this is the this is the sauce. And look how it came out. And again, I almost went off and left you off. So you see I stopped on one side adding the sauce. But I got the shells in here and I stuffed them. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the sauce. And I put cheese in the sauce so it's a cheesy sauce. That was a whole chunk of an onion. I don't want no whole chunk of an onion. Here go one, two. Too big. My kids behind. It's too many onions. So I'm going to add some more of my... Um, my dairy mozzarella trees. There you have it. And I'm gonna sprinkle it. You all already know I love parsley. I'm gonna sprinkle it with me some parsley, parsley, parsley. I got some fresh parsley in there, but I'm gonna use this here just because it look good. Now, you ain't going to tell me that don't look good to you. Don't that look good? Now, there you have it. My stuffed shells. There you go. Stuffed vegan shells. There you have it. Look at that. Let's put them in the oven. And I want to cover them up, too. Because I want them to bake. No escape. And here we go. And here we go. And here we go. Ha, 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 ha. I'm gonna knock you out. Hey, mama said knock you out. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Here we go. My husband stole one too, y'all. He always gotta feed somebody. Let me take one. They can put it in the oven themselves. But I don't mind. Because he likes to bless. There you go. Let me get some. Matter of fact. Oh, stuffed shell. And I got some vegan chicken to go with. Ow. 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 There you have it. My stuffed vegan shells with my vegan chicken. Let me put one more on there and make it look all pretty for y'all. Yes. Oh. This is deliciously. This looks delicious, guys. I can't wait. There you have it. And y'all know I love a parsley. You know I love a parsley. I got to have a parsley party. I'm going to put some parsley on my food to decorate it, honey. I don't care what nobody say. And here you have it. Another, another vegan meal, guys. Look at that. I have my stuffed vegetable shells, yeah, with my vegan cheese. I have my, look at that. Mm, mm. Hallelujah. You got to be thankful, baby. Neighbor, turn to your neighbor and say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because this is delicious, guys. That's it, y'all. That's that stuffed shells. Yes. That's them stuffed shells. Stuffed veggie shells. Look at that. Look at that.